Hello guys and welcome to a different Russia channel. We have come to Globus, a very big supermarket which is located in the city which is called Sholkovo, that is Moscow region. Sholkovo is very close to my city where I live at the moment, very close to Fryazina, so from Fryazina to Sholkovo about five minutes by car. I know that many of you follow me on Google Maps, so guys, that is Proletarsky Prospect, Proletarsky Highway, one of the main streets of Sholkovo. Sholkovo is, well, it is not a provincial city, but rather big city. The population here is um, two times bigger than in Fryazina, so I think more than 100,000 people live here. We do not often come here especially, so today we want to go shopping and here there is a big store which is called Globus. I have shown you in my videos many times. Right now you may see a lot of beautiful decoration on any streets. In every Russian city the main street is decorated in Christmas lights. There are many fir trees in lights everywhere. And here you may see the Christmas tree, which is here on this shopping plaza. Here, besides Globus, also there is a big sports shop. In Russian that is Sportmaster, Sports Master. So a very popular shop for those who is fond of sports. By the way, if it is interesting for you to make a tour around that shop, write in comments. I will try to make the video for you in this case. Also here there is a DIY store which is called Kastarama. I also have shown you it in one of the previous videos. What is very important for me when I go shopping, that is the parking. And here, as you may see, the parking is really very huge. Some part of this parking lot is under the sky. And uh, also there is a big parking lot on the ground floor. There are a lot of parking places for disabled people. So now it is a must, I think, in every modern supermarket. But unfortunately, I must tell you that many Russians break laws and they park on these places. So they are not disabled people, but they park here. Because disabled people here do not have special car plates. So that is why it is not clear whether it is a disabled person or not. That is inconvenience for our police but somehow they find those who break these laws in this case you must pay a fine so guys but we go inside i want to show you uh, the prices on champagne and the variety of champagne that we have here Many of you ask me what Russians buy for Christmas and for the New Year holidays, what Russians have on their Christmas table and holiday table. So in this video I want to show you the variety of champagne in our shops and also I want to tell you what usually people have on their holiday tables. So guys, uh, soon the New Year holidays will start. The most popular holiday in Russia is the New Year Day. So we start to celebrate it on the 31st of December and we finish to celebrate the New Year holidays on the 14th of January. So there are going to be two weeks of holidays. For me that is a very difficult period. I do not like these holidays because they are very long. For me there is always a problem what to do during such long holidays. So this year I think that I will not suffer because I film videos for you. So for me there will be a lot of work to do, but as for ordinary people well, it is very difficult, really very difficult, believe me. If you have to do nothing, you must, uh, well, do nothing during two weeks. 
it is really very very difficult and uh, we celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January and on the 8th of January many Russians want to go to their offices because they are tired of holidays but that is another story for another video by the way, I hope that you have noticed that here there are different kinds of alcohol. So you could see vodka, beer, wine. So I filmed a video for you, but I don't know, will that be interesting for you or not to watch the prices on alcohol? So if it is of any interest for you then write in comments i will publish the video about the prices on alcohol well for me that is not interesting but if you like to have a look at those prices so write in comments i will publish the video for you especially for you On the 31st of December, five minutes before midnight, so just imagine this picture, everyone is in front of the TV set listening to the speech of our president, Mr. Putin. He wishes everyone the Happy New Year, so he congratulates everyone, and at 12 o'clock, when the clock strikes 12 times, Everyone is drinking champagne and make wishes. So what champagne do Russians drink? The most popular brand here is Sovietske Champanske or Soviet Champagne because the price is rather reasonable so everyone can afford a bottle of champagne for a New Year table. As for our family, we prefer Asti Mandora what is also will be on the table of any Russian family. So there will be two types of salads, that is a must, Olivier and Krabovy, a crab salad and Olivier salad. Also there will be, I think, mashed potatoes and chicken or some kind of meat. So what else? As for fruit, all the Russians have tangerines or oranges on their tables, so without champagne and tangerines, so New Year is not the New Year. So everyone is drinking champagne and eats oranges or tangerines. So I think that is all tastes differ and I just tell you the general idea what usually people have on their tables. So guys, hope this video was interesting for you. If you have any questions, ask them in comments. Today without Sheffield, but believe me, he is uh, very busy because he is preparing a small present for you. So right now I won't tell you what it will be, but soon you will see yourself. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episode. До свидания. Увидимся в следующем видео. С наступающим вас Новым Годом и Рождеством. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 